everyone. Uh, I am Maike Rikhoff. I am a curator in training at the Department of 19th Century Paintings. And I would like to tell you about a true favorite of mine. Portrait of a young woman with Puck the Dog, a painting by Therese Schwarze. Looking at a young woman who has halfway turned her back towards us. The various rich fabrics of her dress are masterfully rendered with coarse brushwork while her tucked up hair and face are painted in detail. Subtly and playfully posing, she is standing in front of different colorful textiles. In the warm light that shines on her back, uh, these colors and the details of her dress create a harmonious and vibrant ensemble. She is exchanging a glance with a dog on her right called Puck. Um, and we know for sure that this was the dog's name because uh, Schwarze has included an inscription of it in the upper right corner. We are, however, not quite sure what the name of the woman was. Based on the dress she is wearing, a typically Italian garb, we think she must have been an Italian model. Um, also, in our collection there is a drawing by Schwarze, whose title refers to uh, an Italian model and which seems to portray the very same woman. Luckily for these artists, there was anything but a shortage of Italians uh, in Paris at the time, as thousands of migrants uh, from Italy had come to the French capital, trying to escape the harsh realities of daily life in the countryside. As part of the signature in the upper left corner, Schwarze has written Paris. And it was probably during her third visit to the city in 1884 that she created the portrait. Back then she was sharing a studio space with Wally Moos, a good friend of hers and a fellow Dutch female artist. And um, some of the pieces of cloth that can be seen on our portrait can be identified in a photograph um, of their atelier's interior. Back then it was highly unconventional for a young and unmarried Dutch woman to go to Paris to paint, as was pursuing a professional career in the arts. However, Teresa was not at all deterred by such obstacles. Her father had been a professional painter and she had started painting herself when she was only five years old. She would go on to become the most successful uh, Dutch female painter of the late 19th century, receiving many, many commissions and winning many prizes, both in the Netherlands and abroad. She even became the first woman ever who was knighted by the Dutch monarch. So if you hadn't heard of her before, look her up and enjoy more of her fantastic artworks.